So why study folding? Well, there's many reasons to study folding, but the top two that we think about is one is that it's a really interesting biophysical question. There's an interesting part of biology that proteins do so many exciting things in biology, but before they can do them, they actually have to self-assemble or fold. And we'd really like to understand that ha how that works because it's such a fundamental part of biology. Well, the second reason to study folding is that folding is also related to a lot of disease. Instead of um, folding correctly, what happens in several diseases like Alzheimer's disease or mad cow or CJD, um, these proteins misfold. And then once misfolded, become toxic. And so it's an interesting question just in its own right, but it has a big application in disease as well. And those are the top two reasons we study folding. Why simulate folding? Well, you know, it's natural to use experimental methods to study folding, but there are just limi limitations for what one can do experimentally. And so what's really emerged in the field of studying protein folding um, with us and other scientists that we collaborate with, and just really scientists throughout the world, is to use a combination of both experiment and simulation. To use simulation to really fill in the details that one can't get from, sim from experimental work. So why, uh, why use folding at home? Why use distributed computing to study protein folding? Well, it, it, it's natural to use simulations to fill in the gaps, but um, the problem is that these simulations are extremely challenging to do. It would take a single fast computer, like the fastest PC we can get now, millions to billions of days to do the calculations of interest. But instead of waiting a million days, which was of course impossible, we could wait maybe 10 days on 100,000 processors. And which is, of course, very doable. So what it does is it takes something which would really be impossible to do, like waiting for a million days, make it into something that's almost routine, like waiting for 10 days.